Hello there! Here's a quick little demonstration on how to make Rollbar more efficient for you. In this example, we'll create Zendesk tickets when an error message is sent to Rollbar. So this is a perfect way to be proactive with your customers. So instead of waiting for them to tell you, hey, there's an error, you'll be able to see this ticket uh, be generated in Rollbar, which then generates in Zendesk, so your customer success teams can follow up with your customer proactively to let them know that you're aware of a problem or that you solved it already. So this uh, template is in our documentation, and when you click on it, you'll see this page. For this to work, you need three accounts. You need your Rollbar account, you'll need your Zapier account, and you'll need your Zendesk account. So with that in mind, we can click on Try This Zap. This will go ahead and add that template to your account, and you'll see it, ha it has three different steps. First, catching the Rollbar webhook. So this is getting the information from Rollbar. Um, continuing, um, so this is like a filtering event. So in our example, I only want uh, a specific subset of people to actually create the Zendesk tickets, and then afterwards actually create the ticket. So in here, you'll see this URL, this hook URL right here. So this is what Zapier is listening on. This is where we need to send our information to. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go into my Rollbar account. I'm going to click on the settings here on the left side. And in the integrations tab, I'm going to click on notifications right here. So I'm going to click on that. And here at the bottom, you'll see webhooks. So I'll click on that. And it says, where do you want me to send this information? So I'm going to paste my Zapier uh, URL that was just given to me and click Enable Webhook Integration. You'll see your webhook is now active. You can customize it below. So if you want to change any of these rules to however you want, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on Send a Test Notification and go back to Zapier and click Test to Trigger. So this goes ahead and it tells us, hey, um, this is a test payload from Rollbar. If you got this, it works. So perfect. It's now listening. It's now configured. It's now available to hear from Rollbar. Now I'm going to send a payload, an actual production information payload uh, to Rollbar. You won't see it on my screen, but that's what I'm doing right now in my code. And now I've just sent that error message. I'm going to click on request A where it says right here. I'm going to click load more. You'll see a new one, request B. So if I click on that, this actually has production information, what happened, information about, you know, what I would actually care about as a success person. I'm going to click continue. Then it goes ahead and it brings me to the second step, the filtering. Now this is entirely up to you on how you want to configure this. If you don't want any filtering, if you just want every um, roll bar uh, error message to be uh, a new ticket in Zendesk, you can go here in the top right and click delete this step. Otherwise, you can click on continue. So for me, I only want people from domain.com. If they come from any other email, then I won't, I don't want to create a Zendesk ticket. You can change it to however you want, whatever fits your own workflow. So you, for example, you can do it if the environment is production. You can create a Zendesk ticket. If the environment is QA, you don't want to create a Zendesk ticket. So in this case, I only want to create a Zendesk ticket when it matches domain.com. I'm going to click on continue. You can see my Zab would have continued. Because I sent production information, it had that domain.com email. And so it would have went to the next step. So I'm going to click close. And then in here, create the Zendesk ticket. Now this is the step where you actually create the new ticket in Zendesk. You'll have to choose your Zendesk account. I already have mine configured, so I'm able to just select it from the list. Um, but you may see a pop-up appears to allow um, access from Zapier to your Zendesk instance. I'm then going to click on Continue. All of this is already set up um, for a, a template, but you can change it however you want. So we have a subject, we have information. In here, this is some of the stuff that's copied over from Rollbar and put into the Zendesk ticket. 
so the message, the username, the environment, the level, and a URL to navigate you back to Rollbar so that your customer success teams can view that. You can edit this however you want, whatever works for your, uh, your specific use case. So I'm going to click on continue. And then scroll down. This just shows me what information will be sent to Zendesk. I'm going to click test and review. So I'm going to click on that. You'll see a ticket was sent to Zendesk just now. Now, if I go to my Zendesk instance, you'll see a new error message or a new Zendesk ticket appear that's generated from the error message. So it'll say the message, the username, environment, level, and it'll give me a quick synopsis of what it is. Again, you can configure this however you want. It also has a URL. So if I'm the success person, I see this ticket and say, hey, I want to get some more information. I could click on this and be taken directly to Rollbar and see some more information on what, uh, what could help find their solution. So in this example, I'm using a very bare bones version just to make it more palatable, but this can have a lot more information in there, whatever is useful for you and whatever you have configured. So this looks like it's working. It created a Zendesk ticket if my person was at domain.com. So now I go back to Zapier I'm going to click on turn on zap. It, it takes a second and it turns it on and it says, congratulations, your zap is on. So now anytime a future um, error message is sent to Rollbar that contains domain.com, it'll go ahead and automatically create a Zendesk ticket for your success teams to follow up on.